What's going on everybody? Crispy Divine Central Mass Vapors. I got a quick little vlog here for you today. Wanted to bring a couple things to your attention. Some fun, some kind of serious, but both are all very necessary. But first, some fun. I got a brand new juice that I just got yesterday. And normally I would spend a good week, a week and a half, or sometimes longer, you know, fiddling around with the juice, testing on different wattages, etc., etc., seeing if there's major differences and whatnot. Well, with this one, I've only had it in one atomizer, and I had to bring it to the attention of the class. The reason being is that I believe that it is very hard to come up with a really awesome peanut butter flavor. So what I'm talking about today is from Charlie Noble's Admiral Reserve line. It's called PB cereal. It is exactly what the name of it says. It's a peanut butter cereal with a creamy undertone. I went ahead and looked on their website at the reviews that they have there, and two of them were really negative, but most of them were pretty positive. There wasn't a ton of reviews on it. My personal opinion, it's fantastic. I love it. It's sweet, it's peanut buttery, it's creamy. Um, there's really not a huge um, negative thing I could say about it. I just have really, really enjoyed it. And I'm gonna tell you this much, I took this right off the shelf at Lineage Vapors. I had no steeping time, I just went at it, and I haven't been able to put it down. Um, I have the bottle right here. Uh, it's kind of a cool little bottle too, I think. Um, I think the big PB that you see here, it, you know, it kind of adds to the whole cereal thing. You know, it kind of looks like, you know, a cereal. <laughs> uh, but it says born on March 13th, 2015. It has a batch number, a, um, uh, you know, a barcode. Uh, it's 22 PG, 78 PG. And while I was on their website, I noticed that uh, Charlie Noble actually changes the consistencies or their ratios for PG, VG based on the nicotine um, that, you know, that how much nicotine is in it. So mine's a three milligrams, so that's 2278 PG. So got a lot of information on the bottle and it's not all scrunched together and hard to read. Very clean, um, really, really tough to get these bottles, uh, the tops off. Um, I actually leave it a little bit loose because, I mean, I don't have any kids in the house, so I don't have to worry about it, but uh, yeah. Really nice bottles, very, very good flavor. Um, Charlie Nobles a lot of times has this other flavor, like it's a very distinct flavor. Um, I don't taste that in this. I just taste this nice, sweet, creamy peanut butter. Um, and it's definitely like creamy, not milky creamy, but just creamy. Um, so I had to bring this out there because I know for me, I love peanut butter vapes and it's hard to come by come by a good one. So I had to bring it to you guys and say, hey, if you guys are looking for a good peanut butter flavor, or if you're sick of the cereal flavors that are just like sweet berry, you know, and milk or Fruit Loops or whatever, this is something different and it's definitely something that's gonna satisfy the craving. So definitely check it out. And Charlie Nobles is not that expensive. I think it's like 15 bucks for a 30 mil or something like that. Don't quote me. I'll leave the price in the description and the link where you can get it. Um, so, awesome stuff. Definitely check it out if you're in the mood. So good. Next thing on my agenda is I wanted to give a quick shout out to a guy named Don. Uh, he's got a, UV, a YouTube channel um, that does like vape reviews and all that good stuff called Donnie B Vaping. Uh, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description. He just did an awesome group buy on the Arctic and I am waiting for it. It's supposed to be in tomorrow. Um, very, very professional. It was a big buy. It wasn't just like 10 pieces. He did a lot of these things. Um, and it went very smoothly, uh, a lot of good communication. His YouTube channel is a lot of fun. Uh, so definitely I'll leave a link in the description where you can find him on YouTube. And if, you know, like I said, he did this good group buy. If you're in the market for something new or maybe even uh, one of those sub tanks, you might be able to find it uh, from him still. 
uh, but go ahead and check him out and uh, you know maybe you can get on his new group buy or whenever he's having one um, those group buys are a lot of fun but you gotta make sure that you go with somebody you trust okay you know I never take part in a group buy unless I know specifically the person uh, myself or I trust the group that he put it in and it says admin approved and sometimes I'll even check with that admin like did this person blah 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 whatever um, so it's it can be a great great thing to get involved with but you have to trust the person there are too many that's horror stories out there of people getting taken advantage of because of these group buys. Anyways, I'll leave that in the description. Check them out. I hope you guys enjoy them and hopefully you get something out of it. Uh, maybe a cool tank or something. I don't know. So anyway, let's move on. Got some other things to talk about. The next on my agenda, I wanted to bring something to um, this vlog because I did a, a whole review on the Big Dripper um clone when I got it like last year sometime okay and at the time I was still in the honeymoon phase of 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 getting you know a lot of new stuff you know I mean I was buying all kinds of different clones all over the place because they were cheap and you know I was just getting into like you know really 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 obsessed with like building and all that stuff uh, so um, I bought it from a group buy, group buy, nothing bad when it was a great, great group buy. Everything was great. I got it in the mail. I built it. I loved it. It was so easy to build and to use. And it just, I just loved it. Although there was some flaws in it, you know, the whole dripping part of it didn't really hold up to what it, I, I thought it was going to be, though it worked. It just didn't, it, it wasn't as successful as I thought, but here's the problem when you buy a clone like this. Okay. With something like that, you can't say, oh, it's the Big Dripper, it sucks. Because it's not the Big Dripper, it's a Big Dripper clone. So you don't know if that's how they made it and it's just crappy or if it really is like that. Unless you have the original, you can't really judge it, okay? So I, I vowed that any type of clone atomizer that I have that I love, if I can, I'm going to buy the authentic version of it, okay? Now there, I have tons of them, like tons of little clone atomizers, okay? So there's no way in hell I can afford to go out and buy every single one, and I wouldn't want to. But in certain ones, they're definitely worth buying the original, authentic, or whatever, okay? So the Big Dripper V2, they're made by Subohm Innovations. Um, I picked this up at Lineage Vapors uh, for 70 bucks. Uh, the funny part about it is, is Subohm Sub Innovations put out the V1 and it was like $120. They put out the V2 and it's $65, $70. So I'm not really sure exactly, you know, why the, the price is so, you know, low compared to what it was, but I'm not complaining at all. The V2 is, again, I can't compare it to the, the, to the um, original, but I'm gonna tell you, it is unbelievable how well it works. Sure, there it is imperfect. There are some little things here and there that are kind of annoying, but I'm telling you, it works so good. My flavor that I'm getting off of this is just unbelievable. Um, the dripper works perfect. It actually drips super fast now. The other one was like, and it didn't, it sucked. This one just like pours down. So that'd be kind of thing you have to get used to how to pour it. You can't just like, you know, I had juice all over me yesterday because of the fact that I over dripped. And as much as it was annoying to have all that juice on me, it was awesome because I was like, it works, it works. So good. Rip Trippers did a review on this and he talked about how the airflow isn't great. And I know that people are used to a lot of airflow. Me personally, I love it because the big dripper isn't my cloud chaser thing, which none of my, I don't really buy our atomizers to be cloud chasers. Uh, but this is for flavor. So, the, so for me, uh, the airflow is perfect in this. It works well. Um, the flavor is is awesome. The only thing I was kind of bummed about is that I feel like the Big Dripper, because it's such a different style of atomizer, I feel like they could have threw in a, um, a drip tip that would have looked cool with it. Um, it the O-rings on the uh, deck are really big, so it's like really hard to get off, which can be a pain in the ass if you have too much juice in there and you rip it off and it sprays all over you. Um, but other than those little quans or whatever, I absolutely love it. I'm so excited about it. And if you have 70 bucks, 65 bucks, 
this is something that you're going to want to grab. I don't care about the Delta II. I don't care about these sub ohm tanks. It's not about that. It's about flavor and it's about dripping without dripping and it's about fun and it's just such a great thing. I'm gushing, but I just love it. So Big Dripper V2 sub ohm innovations. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can buy it. So, it's a brand new day, okay? Um, I did my fun parts of the video, and I really wanted to give some more thought to what I was going to say for the serious part. So, I have a question for everybody. If you were riding down the road, and all of a sudden, something happened, and somebody saved your life, would you feel any sort of gratitude? Would you feel it necessary to make it up to that person? Or if that person decided to call you because they were in trouble, would you then feel that you needed to help them because you, they helped you? Well, what if that someone wasn't necessarily a person? What if that someone was actually a something? Of course I'm talking about e-cigs, okay? Everybody who smokes cigarettes and then gets off of cigarettes and goes to vaping, all of them, for the most part, would say that vaping saved their life. Or, I smoked for 30 years and I never thought I would quit. I thought I would die smoking until I was introduced to e-cigs and then I quit within a week. For the most part, everybody has that feeling about e-cigs. Otherwise, why would people be so passionate? It's not like when you smoke cigarettes, you were like, oh my God, I gotta collect this Marlboro pack, you know? So for me, I see that it's more important to than just to say, e cig saved my life. It's more important to take action when the person or the something that saved your life is in need of help. Every day across the United States, government officials and agencies and politicians and all that are making these rules or regulations or restrictions or bans against vaping. And they want to make it impossible for store owners to conduct business and for ex-smokers or to stay ex-smokers or smokers to become ex-smokers, etc. Okay? They want to make it impossible. And the only reason they want to do this is not because of public safety or because of the kids, the kids, the kids. It's because of money. It has to be because of money. Because only money would make somebody or a group of people be completely delusional. Fingers pointed at vaping constantly with ridiculous arguments such as, we're trying to get kids hooked because of the flavors. For years as a child, I had to look Joe Camel in the eyes every day, going to school or going down the street or whatever on, you know, um, signs at the store or billboards. The Marlboro Man was one of my first crushes. <laughs> okay, you know they made this 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 fun cowboy who was all serious and you know heroish. You know, alcohol is now being made with Swedish fish flavoring or whipped cream, chocolate, peppermint, Andy's candies, candy. Okay, the point is, is that with all these, these fingers being pointed at vaping and all of the hypocrisy that is just spilling out of these arguments, it seems like it would be easy to get people fired up to want to fight back. There are so many different things that we could be doing right now to help stay on this fight and protect the one thing that we say saved our lives. There is letters to be written. There are hearings to be sat in. There are speeches to be spoken, okay? Luckily for us, we have all these different organizations that are putting in the hours to help us fight this battle. But at the end of the day, if the consumers and the shop owners are not gonna stand up and fight along with these these organizations or just a small handful of people are going to do it, then we don't stand a chance. I'm not a stupid person, okay? 
but I'm not the type of person that's going to be able to read a bunch of studies and put together a big argument. I am not somebody who's going to be able to stand in front of hundreds of people and, you know, do this big speech, okay? That's just not somebody, that's not me. But I can write letters. I can hand out flyers. I can make videos. I can post on Facebook about how we need to do this. There's always something that somebody can do to put in an effort to help this cause. And if we don't, then we're going to end up having to fight even harder to get what we want in the end. If anybody out there is looking to get involved or you want to get involved but you maybe you're not sure how, down below in the description you're going to find a handful of websites that you can go to that have information on how to get involved. Okay, Find somebody or people in your town or your city that has already started the process of doing this, of fighting with Kasa or Safeda or whoever, and see if they need help, okay? Again, there may not be stuff that you can do in the big picture, but there's something that you can do, whether it's being a body, standing in line, waiting to be heard, or letting somebody else speak for you, whatever. Getting your friends and family involved, even if they don't vape, they still have a voice. They seen what you went through to quit smoking. They understand in some facet. So with that said, this isn't Crispy Divine coming at you with a chip on your shoulder or trying to be all high and mighty, sitting up there thinking I'm better than anybody else. It's not. It's just a concerned vapor, hoping that everyone's doing what they can do to fight against this whole entire ridiculousness that is before us. I just feel like we're getting closer and closer to this doomsday, and it's really freaking me out. So anyways, I'll leave links in the description. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely uh, message me. I'm not the go-to answer person of everything, but I will do my best. And uh, thank you guys for watching this little video. I hope you made it all the way through to the end. Um, let's stay vaping and have fun, and let's fight for it. because. I don't want to lose it.